Well, the most important thing to say at the start of this video is just how much uh, I, uh, we, all the staff, are looking forward to having the boys back at uh, Radley uh, next week. A lot of planning gone into that, you know that. Uh, you've had a booklet, I hope, I hope you've had the chance to look at it. Uh, please do read it carefully. But we thought a video would also help, just perhaps give uh, a demonstration of how we're going about things. And thank you to Max, as ever, uh, and to the subwarden and to the estates versa uh, for putting it uh, together. Please watch it carefully and we hope it encourages you uh, to look forward, as we are, uh, to coming back. Can I just stress uh, a couple of things uh, as we do? Uh, the first is those three basic rules that we want you to remember at all times. Uh, to take responsibility, we want you to take responsibility. Uh, to wash your hands, personal hygiene is by far the most important thing. And then thirdly, to keep your distance. Uh, and on social distancing, uh, please pay particular care uh, to social distancing from adults. Uh, that's really important. Uh, obviously, the risk is there uh, for you, uh, but the risk is greater uh, for adults than it is for boys. So we want to stress that uh, particularly. Second thing is to remember that there will be different attitudes. Uh, some, for very good reasons, will be more nervous than others. Uh, some will perhaps care less. Uh, we recognise that. But what is uh, important about a community like Radley is that we are sensitive uh, to each other's needs. So as you come back, recognise that there will be different attitudes. Uh, and be sensitive to that uh, as we start term. And then the third thing I ask is just be patient with us. Uh, there's been an awful lot of planning. We won't have thought about everything. We won't get everything absolutely right. We will adjust day by day, week by week, as we get used uh, to doing things uh, in new ways. And of course, uh, as government guidelines change and we hope continue to relax uh, as it is safe to do so. Uh, so please do be patient with us. Uh, please do uh, read the booklet, watch this video, but most importantly, we look forward to having you back at Radley next week. I'm a big believer in keeping things simple uh, so that people are clear and they understand exactly what they need to do. With the majority of teaching blocks, some of them it's not possible to do, but there is a simple in and there's a simple out. You follow the arrows in, you follow the arrows out and do not go through any doors that have a no entry sign on them. Now, when we moved to socials, socials were obviously not designed with, uh, with a pandemic in mind. However, we have split you into social bubbles, so year groups per social who can uh, congregate with each other and just carry on as normal. Now, this doesn't mean that, that, that you can't talk to or you can't congregate with boys from from another year group within the social but i would just ask that you keep socially distant and you are uh, you are respectful and responsible at all times first of all let's go into music this is the only way in as you can see there's a no entry sign in the door you must not go back out this way. Music is a rather complicated building, but let's try and make it simple. Turn left to go up and also to pick up your musical instruments. Turn right to go to the other music practice rooms or straight on for Silk Hall. No entry ahead. This is the only way into Silk Hall. And this is the only way out, as I say, simple. And down the steps for drama in the theatre. And if you're going to the theatre, it's just up the stairs and in the back doors. And these doors into the theatre, and please make sure that you don't cross these barriers. These are set out for the VMT teachers. When you leave the theatre, please use this exit by the tennis courts. And all the way down for the drama classroom in the studio theatre. When you leave drama in the studio theatre, please use the exit by J Social. I know it is inconvenient, but it does mean that people don't face each other when they come in and out of classrooms. I would also ask that you do not use David Ray Smith building at the end of this corridor as, as a cut through. This is the way out.
And no entry really does mean no entry. So the wardens asked me to have a walk around college and show you some of the changes that we've had to put in place in preparation for your return in September. So one of the things we've had to think very carefully about is how we were going to move people safely around the campus. Um, and in buildings such as this, in the entrance hall to the Queen's Court and the science block, we need to get people upstairs safely and back down from the classroom. So the main staircase here has been designated for upward traffic. And we've got other staircases which have been designated as for downward traffic. So the main staircase here in the entrance to the uh, Queen's Court and the science block is for upward traffic. In many areas, it's, it's patently obvious as to which side of the corridor one should walk on. But again, we will always try and keep to the left when we're moving around buildings. And in the narrower stairwells, we obviously have to observe the one-way system. Coming through to the ground floor labs here, we have a one-way system in operation and you'll see that the doors that I've just come through have got no entry signs on them. The expectation being that boys will move through this way and out at the far end. In a communal space such as this where boys are used to congregating immediately prior to a lesson, it is going to be important that boys move directly into the classroom as soon as they arrive as we would very quickly find ourselves in a space like this where social distancing became impossible. So on arriving at the classroom, boys will be expected to go directly into the classroom where the dom will be waiting for them. And the staircases in the Queen's Court, where I am now, will be up only. So boys coming into this building will come up the internal staircases and then they will go down using the external staircases. So as we arrive at lessons, we're going to go directly into our classroom and boys will be expected to fill up from the front. Now, sitting in the classrooms, we're going to be doing that as far as we can in our bubbles. So two boys can sit together if they are from the same social. Obviously, the distance between the desks will be such that we maintain the one metre plus social distancing. The Don's desk is going to be that much further away from the boys than uh, we're perhaps familiar with, because it's important that the adults, the Don's, are two metres away from the boys. So we're trying to maintain that two metre distancing for Don's in their classrooms. When the boys arrive in the classroom, the first thing they're going to want to do is to sanitise their hands. And all the boys will be carrying with them their bottle of hand sanitizer. So as soon as they've joined their seat in the classroom, they're going to sanitise their hands before the start of the lesson. Likewise, at the end of the lesson, we'll sanitise our hands again before we leave. And in Queen's Court here, boys will have come up the internal staircases and we'll be departing via the external staircases. So all of the boys on the first floor in the Queen's Court here will be leaving via the fire escape doors at the, uh, the side of the classroom. And on the external balcony here, the boys will circulate round to the spiral staircases down to the ground. And heading over to the David Ray Smith building, so if you think about the slope on the front drive, going into the David Ray Smith building, we go into the building at the upper end of the building and we come out of the building at the lower end. I guess you can imagine it will be really important that the boys observe the entrance and the exit for buildings such as the David Ray Smith as the changeover between lessons. If we have boys coming in and out of the same doors, we're going to have an impossible situation for social distancing.
All of the main teaching buildings will have their entrances and separate exits. And here in the, uh, the clock tower court, the two entry points are going to be off the, uh, the clock tower area and around by D and C social. The door handles uh, on buildings such as this will be sprayed with an antiviral film which will help to prevent the transmission of bacteria. And some of our buildings have automatic doors and you may prefer to use those entrances. Inside the entrance of each building you'll find a hand sanitizer, some with a, a floor pedal such as this one and others will be the normal hand pump arrangement. We want the experience to be as near normal as possible in September. As you can see at the end, they've already put up screens to add a level of protection to the catering staff that are going to be working in that area. The main staircase here in Clock Tower Court will be for up traffic only. Boys using the classrooms on the first floor here of Clock Tower Court will exit the building via the H social door at the far end. It's an instinctive thing in stairwells like this to use the handrail and I'm working quite hard to train myself not to do that. Obviously in the course of a day with boys coming down this stairwell, hundreds of hands are going to be running on these rails. So if one can avoid touching the handrails and the banisters as one's going up and down staircases, I think that would be a good thing. The exit here to the Clock Tower Court building is clearly marked with a no entry sign and it is hugely important that boys respect the entrances and the exits to each building. So if you're walking towards this door from H Social, the temptation is to go into the building this way but we've marked it very clearly as an exit only and likewise at the far end here you can see there's a no entry sign on the door into the gallery. When you arrive back at Radley, you will see a number of marquees around the site. This one here by the bursary, a huge marquee on Chapel Quad, and another marquee over between B Social and F Social. These marquees are going to be used for large gatherings such as social prayers, year group meetings, and cocos. As you can see, these are cavernous spaces and they will provide plenty of uh, opportunity for boys to be outside, socially distanced, undercover when needed. It's going to be an unusual Michaelmas term in many ways, not least in the fact we will be playing summer term games at the start. And as you can see, there's work going here on here in preparation for cricket, which will begin when you arrive back in September. It's really important that boys respect the social bubbles and boys should only enter their own social buildings. Croom's Tower here is a, a regular shortcut for E and F social boys and those going through to Covered Passage. It's really important that boys go around the outside of this building. We only have A social boys coming through this door. F social obviously can use the door over to the left. E social, I'm afraid, will have to walk round. Inside the socials, studies will be organised into year group bubbles. And boys within a year group bubble can mix freely with one another. However, they must avoid going into the areas of the social where other year groups have their studies. You will see that David Anderson has put chairs and tables outside in a number of locations and we'd encourage boys where possible to socialise outside. Boys need to follow the keep left rule, particularly important in main thoroughfares such as Covered Passage. Entrances to the dining hall and the servery from Covered Passage and from D Social will be divided by these see-through screens in order to give boys protection. And the entrance here from the de-social side will have the similar screen attached to it. The boys will come into the servery area and their meals will be plated up 
with all of the cutlery and the, the salt and pepper and condiments in the box here on the tray. The dining hall will then be laid out for individual social groups. In the dining hall, one half of the hall will be for the first sitting. The other half of the hall will be used for the second sitting. While the second sitting is in here having their meal, catering department will be cleaning down all of the tables uh, in preparation for the third sitting. So the whole dining hall won't be used at the same time. In order to provide enough space for boys to sit and have their meals socially distanced, we've had to erect another marquee here on Chapel Quad. One of the things that is going to feel very different is that when you come to hall, you will know exactly which table you're going to be sitting on and which group of people you're going to be sitting with. I'm sitting on the asocial tables at the moment and the asocial group boys will always come to the same table for each meal as the same group. The other thing which is going to feel quite different is the choice. Um, there will be choice, but it will be a case of either a meat option or a vegetarian option. Inside your box here on the tray, you'll also have your cutlery, your salt, your pepper, and your sauces. So there won't be any handling of cutlery, of sachets, of packets, of plates. Uh, it will all be here on your tray for you simply to collect and walk through to the dining hall. So at the end of the meal, my um, now empty box is going into one of the bins. The other bits and pieces of rubbish will go into the end bin. My knives and forks will go into the sink and the plates and the trays are dealt with in the usual way. Thanks very much. So why are we doing all this when you read in the press that uh, younger people are not as affected by uh, COVID-19? Well, simply it's because of uh, people like me and the other 430 staff that we have on site. I would ask that you make sure that you socially distance from them and that you are respectful and you take responsibility as I know that you can. Uh, whilst on the face of it, people look uh, fit and healthy, they may have underlying issues uh, that, 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 that aren't obvious. Uh, myself, for example, uh, I'm an asthmatic. Uh, I'm 50 years old. I know I don't look it, but uh, uh, these things all push me into a zone that I don't necessarily want to be in. So if you, if, if you, if you keep your distance, if everyone keeps a distance from each other, then I have got nothing to worry about and, uh, and none of her other staff have got anything to worry about. And we can carry on uh, with the college in the manner that you've become, that you've become used to over the years.